Hey, I'm Steve, also known as Terramantis, and this is my channel Vitcha. In this video, we're going to cover 10 things that you may or may not know about Destiny. We'll brush over topics based in lore, game mechanics, and things that are just simply fun to know, but all these Destiny topics are either obscure or widely unknown. The topics will get more difficult as we go, and remember to play the game where if you learn something new, you hit the like button. And if you already knew everything, don't feel bad for one second to also hit the like button. Alright, let's get started. Number 10 is definitely going to come off as common knowledge to many people, but I have to say that I'm quite frankly astonished by the number of players I tell this to, and they have no idea. So did you know that when you're crouching behind cover, you can pop out of cover by hitting the aiming trigger on your controller? Yep, nothing more to it than that. Crouch, hit the trigger, pop up, release the trigger, go back down. Alright, for the next one I'm sure you all know about the exotic machine gun super good advice and its perk of the same name. The perk causes almost all shots fired that miss to return to the machine gun's magazine. The idea is, only bullets that find their mark will be expended. But what you may not know is that when you're shooting oracles in the vault of glass, or the oversoul in Crota's end, the perk triggers despite hitting their target. This essentially gives you unlimited ammo when firing upon these objects. Alright, for the next one, I always used to think to myself that the Jade Rabbit emblem always felt a little out of place, but upon further inspection, it starts to make more sense. The Jade Rabbit is an emblem found on the moon, but what you may not know is that the Jade Rabbit is also deeply rooted folklore in Eastern culture. In the folklore, because of its selflessness, the Jade Rabbit was chosen to live on the moon where it creates a special elixir of immortality. The folklore in the East is so widespread in fact that the Chinese even named a moon rover after the Jade Rabbit. In Destiny, there's all kinds of different references to movies. For example, the PvP medal for killing an enemy with a throwing knife to the head is called Stick Around, which is a callback to the one-liner from Predator. Yeah. Stick around. Well, in addition to some of the more commonly known references, there's one that's much more obscure. The Crucible bounty called Stay Golden is actually a reference to a movie The Outsiders from the 80s. The bounty itself is to complete five rumble matches, and in the movie The Outsiders, there's two groups of people that brawl with one another, and these fights are referred to as rumbles. Also, the most famous line from the movie is when one character says to the other, Stay Golden, Pony Boy. I would show the clip here, but the scene is actually a gigantic spoiler, so we're going to skip it. Alright, for the next one, if you're unaware, the Vex are actually hugely inspired by ancient Greek mythology. Minotaurs, harpies, goblins, hydras, these are all references to mythological creatures from ancient Greece. Well, one creature you may not know is the Gorgon. If you ever thought it was strange that this Vex creature can kill you with just a glance called Gorgon's Gaze, then you wouldn't be alone. But in Greek mythology, a Gorgon is a race of creature akin to Medusa, the snake-haired monster whose gaze turned onlookers into petrified stone. Now for the next one, you only have to venture slightly past the Gorgons. Just before the room housing the Atheon encounter, you may have walked past these and never paid them mind. And for good reason, too. At first glance, they look like nothing more than atmospheric flare, like dust wafting through the corridors of the Vault of Glass. Well, what you may not know is that upon closer inspection, these little dust particles aren't actually dust particles. They actually seem to be the remnants of a ghost. Phantoms. So what do you guys think these are? From story missions and lore, we know the Traveler can exist outside of time as we know it, and that all fragments of the Traveler are linked regardless of their relative space or time. Additionally, when you die in the Vault of Glass, it says, you are forever lost to the dark corners of time. Perhaps these are phantoms of ghosts belonging to guardians that died to Atheon. Since ghosts are part of the Traveler, maybe these phantoms are ghosts popping in and out of our space-time, forever searching for their guardian counterparts lost to the dark corners of time. Alright, for the next one, if you've watched my Destiny lore video on Crota, then you know that Crota's father and god king of the Hive is named Oryx. Now seemingly unrelated, for those of you who don't know, Jason Jones is the co-founder of Bungie. And, like many games, Bungie gave a presentation for their game at E3 in 2013. Well, what you may not know, or just simply forgot, is that during this presentation, Jason Jones' username was OryxBNG. BNG. 
The next one pays homage to a Russian test pilot, Vladimir Komarov. These pieces of equipment all mention him by name, and just like the Hunter class item bearing his name states, Komarov was the first human to die during a space mission. Additionally, the Komarov boots description reads, traditionally inscribed with this list, Komarov, Grissom, White, Caffey, and more, souls lost to a higher purpose. All of these names mentioned in the description are references to various astronauts who died in the pursuit to further humanity's conquest to explore the universe beyond Earth. If I've learned anything in my many years of playing video games, it's that the best environments in gaming tell fantastic stories without uttering a single word. The same thing can be said about the story of devastation surrounding the Cosmodrome in Old Russia. You see, in the history of Destiny, long ago the Earth was falling to ruin, and the Cosmodrome was one location of many where a fleet of ships fled the planet. But inside the fortress's walls remains a final ship that never launched. So what's the story here? Well, outside the Cosmodrome's walls is where you're first introduced to your character as Dinklebot reanimates your body. Just after awakening, you're surrounded by countless cars rusted by time and overgrown by nature. Here we can see what remains of the scared and frantic citizens seeking passage on that last spaceship. Many of them clearly never made it inside the Cosmodrome. It's also unclear whether the wall of the fortress was to keep out desperate humans or invading fallen. Furthermore, during an interview with Rob Adams, a lead world artist at Destiny, he goes on to explain that the civilians did eventually in fact overrun the Cosmodrome. The chaos of these riots resulted in fires, and these fires ignited the fuel lines of the refinery which led to the final remaining ship. The resulting explosion in the pipeline left a large crater leading up to the Devil Walker area. Further still inside the Cosmodrome, the skeletal remains of countless humans can be found. It would seem that in their frantic struggle to escape, the humans actually damned themselves. As a result of the riots and exploded fuel line, the ship was forever grounded, leaving them stranded there. I imagine this room leading up to Sepkis acted as a slaughtering house when the invading fallen finally broke through. Alright, in a shift away from the morbid, let's take a look at number one. This isn't confirmed, but many parts of Destiny seem to pay their respect to the long-running Nintendo RPG, Pokemon. It's been stated that these doors on the Mars maps look strikingly similar to a Pokeball. The same could be said about Ascendant Energies as well. And even stranger still is what happens when you walk through this patch of grass right here. Guardian down. Number 6 pokes fun at the people over at Bungie, the developers of Destiny. And for those of you who don't know, Destiny is a game in which you adventure across the solar system in search of a rocket launcher called Galahorn. Well, looking at the shader aptly named 18327496-64703388, you might just think to yourself, hmm, that's stupid. Alright, for the next one, did you know that if you hit Freya's face enough, it will get chopped off? 